Okay, everything is on set and I'm now ready for the training. So, good morning trainees and then welcome to Bohol Island State University. Bohol Island State University is a test the accredited training center for food and beverage services and C2. So, this is our first day of training and allow me to introduce myself. I am Brian Yaris, 20 years old and I will be your trainee trainer for today's program. So, please stand for the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. You will now take your seat. Okay, I will now check your attendance. Please come forward if your name is called and send the attendance sheet. So, Brian Valurin. Okay, Jenny Sigmilan. Okay, thank you. So before we proceed to our formal training, so let's have first this pre-test assessment. This pre-test assessment composed of three parts. So we have the training characteristics, we have the pre-test and assessment checklist. So first, I will give you these trainees characteristics. So this will help me to identify your knowledge and experiences for your training to be connected to your needs. I will give you 10 minutes to answer. Are you done? Thank you. Now I will give you this pre-test. This will help me to determine your basic knowledge and no more for how long at this moment. Are you done? Thank you. Lastly, will be the self-assessment checklist. This will help me to know more your current competency related to your qualification. Are you done? Thank you. So according to the questionnaire that I have collected, it seems that Mr. Lloren uh, have a relevant experience with food and beverage. So I would like to request you, Mr. Lloren, uh, to bring your proof of evidence like certificate of employment or certificate of training. Uh, please bring it tomorrow, okay? Okay, so, and for Ms. Igmilan, uh, don't worry for I will guide you until you come. Uh, competent at the end of this training. So we will proceed to orientation and CBT purpose and context of the training. So please have this on our PowerPoint presentation. So facilitate training session in food and beverage service. So we have the competency-based training. So competency-based training or CBT is a training delivery approach that focuses on the competency deliver development of the learner as a result of the training. It emphasizes most on what the learners can actually do, focuses on outcomes rather than the learning process within the specified or specific time. And third is concerned with the attainment and application of knowledge and skills and attitude to a specific level of competency. Why the competency-based approach? Education and training must keep pace with technology and customer requirements. We have also the 10 principles of CBT. We have learning is based on the competency-based curriculum. This means that we make uh, our learning based on CBT for effective teaching and learning. We also have number two, learning is competency-based or modular structure. This means that to, for us to deliver and conductive learning delivery. We have also third, Training delivery is individualized and self paced This means that we make sure that we connect to the needs of each individual learner 
for the purpose of teaching. And number four, training is based on what? On work that must be performed. Uh, fifth, training materials are directly related to the competency standard and the curriculum. Number six, assessment of learners is based on the collection of evidences of work performance based on industry or organization required standards. Number seven, training is based both on and off the job components. Number eight, the system allows recognition of prior learning or the so-called RPL. Number nine, the system allows for learners to enter and exit programs at different times and levels and to receive an award for competencies attained at any point. And lastly, number 10, approved training programs are nationally accredited. So, food and beverage services qualification. First, this course was designed to enhance the knowledge and skills and attribute in the food and beverage services. To prepare the dining room, restaurant area for service, to welcome guests and take food and beverage outdoor or beverage order, to promote food and beverage products, to provide food and beverage service to guests, to provide room service, and to receive and handle guests' concerns in accordance with the industry standard. We also have competences. These are classified into core, common, and um, the standard. We have the basic. Basic competences. We have participate in workplace communication. Work in team environment. Practice career professionalism. And practice occupational health and safety procedures. We have the common competencies. Develop and update industry knowledge, observe workplace hygiene procedures, perform computer operations, perform workplace and safety practices, and provide effective customer service. And lastly, the core competencies which will be uh, we focused are prepare the dining room, restaurant area for service, welcome guests and take food and beverage orders, Promote food and beverage products. Provide food and beverage service to guests. Provide room service. Receive and handle guest concerns. So those are the competencies of our training. Also, we have the CBLM. The CBLM or the competency-based learning materials is a, is a student-centered learning approach that provides the students with learning tools they need to learn at their own pace and make uh, choices about the sequence of their learning. The purpose of CBLM, to provide a learner with a complete guide with related, uh, related documents to facilitate learning so that it would facilitate, uh, acquire all the competencies required in a mutual. Now we have the contents of the CBLM. Uh, CBLM parts are composed of uh, preliminary pages and instructional sheets. So for the preliminary pages, we have front page, trainees guide on how to use the CBLM, list of competencies, competency summary, learning outcome summary, and we have the learning experiences. For the instructional sheets, we have information sheet, self-check, task sheet, operation sheet, job sheet, and performance criteria sheet list. We also have the monitoring tools. We have the progress chart and the achievement chart. So these are a sample of the progress chart in food and beverage service. And these are the achievement chart. We also have the training metrics. 
This is a tool used in an organization to track training and skills required and the desired skills needed to complete a particular goal or objectives. This will serve as a guide throughout the training, specifically on our training. Now, we will proceed to the role of the trainer. So, me as a trainer. So, the, my role is to be a team member, uh, be a motivator, problem solver, assistant learner, helper, accept responsibility, and become an evaluator, and lastly, become a role model. Your role and responsibility as a trainee. So, your role is decide on what on when ready to demonstrate, competes against um, industry standards, evaluate on performance, required to receive credits on what they know, uh, move freely in the workshop, um, progresses at own rate, and select on what competency to start. So that are your role as a training. So, is there any question? Okay, none. Since there are no concerns, let us now proceed to our training facilities. So, please follow me. So, in here we have the practical area. So, this practical area is where the, where the training acquired the skills and knowledge components of the competency prescribed by the standard. So, these are the practical area. Next is the uh, learning resource center. These are the, these are the learning resource center. Uh, this provides the heart, the practical work of area. Next, we have the institutional assessment area. The institutional assessment area is located very proximately to the practical work area. Uh, this is where recognition of prior learning is done by the trainee. Then we also have the contextual learning laboratory, uh, quality control, uh, distant learning area, and the computer laboratory. So these are all facilities in our training. So you may not go back to it. So okay, that's all for today. For those who check, yes, uh, in the self-assessment checklist, uh, don't forget to bring tomorrow your proof of evidence, uh, like certificate of trainings, uh, employments, TUR, and diploma. See you tomorrow. Okay, good morning, trainings. This is our day two for the training. So please stand for the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. So you may now take your seat. Okay, I will now check your attendance. Please come forward if your name is called and sign the attendance sheet. So Brian Barguren. Janice Iguilan. Okay, thank you. So, I have here the training matrix, and this will serve as our guide for today's training. So, by the way, to those who check yes to the self-assessment checklist, uh, please present to me your proof of the evidence. Okay, Mr. Nuran. So, Mr. Yuren, according to your certificate of employment, you work in a restaurant for one year. That's great, but I still need to validate your skills through demonstration. And for you, Miss Ignilan, uh, please read uh, this information sheet and answer for subject. After answering, prepare your answer to the answer key. I will give you one hour to read and answer that. Okay? Okay, so. To 
Okay, Mr. Loren, please proceed to the institutional assessment area. So, Mr. Yuren, for the foundation of your prior learning, I will conduct a written exam, practical exam, and questioning. Is that okay? Okay, so first, this written exam, answer this in 25 minutes. Are you done? Okay, thank you. So, let's now proceed to the practical work area. Let's please read this task sheet and familiarize it. If you are ready, you may have started the demonstration. Are you done? So are you ready? So you will now start the demonstration. Okay, you're done. Thank you. So you are done with the practical area or practical exam. So let us now pa uh, back to the institutional assessment. Area for oral questioning. So, Mr. Yuren, how was your demonstration? Okay, that's good. So, I will now start with oral questioning. Why is it important to follow the proper procedure? Okay, that's great. Why is it important to have a proper posture in a workstation? Okay. Why do it must? Uh, why do it is a must for a workplace to be clean? Okay, very good. So, Mr. Duran, just give me five minutes uh, to check your references. I will be back. Okay, Mr. Duran, based on the result of your assessment, you got 45 out of 50 score. I also impressed during your demonstration. Uh, all are well presented according to the procedure and you also answered well during the oral questioning uh, and overall you did your job well so I conclude that you are competent in these competencies uh, so please receive the certificate of achievement congratulations and I will now record that to the progress chart you may not take it uh, to the learning resource area Okay, Mr. Ren. So I will now give you the CBLM containing the information sheet. Uh, please read and then answer the self check and compare your answer to the answer key. Uh, I will give you one hour for that. Okay, Ms. Igmilan, are you done with the self check? Okay, I will check it before uh, we proceed to the practical area. Okay, so let's now proceed to the practical area, Mr. Ren. So, Ms. Igmilan, so please read this task sheet and familiarize the topic on setting up the table in the dining area. So, if you already ready, you will start the demonstration. Are you ready? So, you will now start the demonstration. Okay, are you done? Okay, thank you. Okay, Ms. Igmilan. I observe that you are having a hard time performing the task, but don't worry, after I will guide you. I will demonstrate to you and I want to observe how to demonstrate the task. Okay, that's how you will demonstrate it. Uh, now I will give you the time to practice. So you can now start. Okay, Mr. Ren, are you done with the self check? Okay, thank you. So, Mr. Ren, let's now proceed to the practical work area. So, please read this task sheet and familiar with the topic on setting up the table in the dining area. We are ready, you will start the demonstration. 
Are you ready? So, you will start the demonstration. Okay, done. Thank you. Mr. Duran, I will now record your achievement in the achievement chart. You may now go back to your learning resource area. Okay, Mr. Duran, I will now give you another task. Please read the information sheet on setting up the mood or ambience in the dining area. And after, after that, please proceed to that. Practical work area for your demonstration. Okay, Miss Ignila, are you ready? You will now start the demonstration. Okay, well done, Miss Ignila. I will now record your achievement to the achievement chart. You will now go back to your learning resource area. So, Ms. Ignilan, I will give you another task. Uh, please read the information sheet on setting the mode ambience in the dining area. And after that, please proceed to the practical work area for demonstration. Mr. Duran, are you now ready for the demonstration? So, let's proceed to the practical work area. Uh, Mr. Duran... Please read this question and familiars. When you are ready, we will now proceed to the demonstration. Are you ready? So, you will now start the demonstration. Okay, thank you. you will now I will now record your achievement to the achievement chart. You will now go back to your uh, email. Okay, Mr. Yuren, I think you are now ready for the institutional assessment. Um, let's proceed to the institutional assessment area. Within this, we will have a written exam, practical exam, and oral questioning. So first, this written exam, answer this in 40 minutes. Are you done? Thank you. Okay, Mr. Ryan, let's now proceed to the practical work area. Please read this task sheet and familiarize it. If you are ready, you will now start the demonstration. Are you ready? So, you will now start the demonstration. Okay, you're done. Thank you. So, you are done with the practical exam. Let us go to the institutional assessment area for oral questioning. So, Mr. Yuren, how was your demonstration? Okay, that's good. So, I will now start your oral questioning. So, why is, the, why is it important to follow the proper procedure? Okay, that's great. So, why is it important to have a proper setting? Okay, that's good. So, Mr. Ren, just give me time to check. Okay, Mr. Loren, based on the result of your assessment, you got 46 out of 50 score. I also impressed during the demonstration and all are well presented according to the procedure. You also answer well during the oral questioning. You are really, really competent with the competency. This is received the certificate of achievement. Congratulations. And I will now record the progress, uh, your progress to the progress chart. You may now return to your learning resource area.
Okay, Miss Pig Milan, I think you are now ready for the institutional assessment. So let's go to the institutional assessment area. So we will have a written exam, practical exam, and oral questioning. So first, this written exam, answer this in 40 minutes. Are you done? Thank you. Uh, Ms. Ignila, let us now proceed to the practical work area. Uh, please read this tax sheet and familiarize it. If you are ready, you may now start the demonstration. Are you ready? So you may now start the demonstration. Okay, you're done. Thank you. So you are done with the practical exam. Let us go to the institutional assessment area for oral questioning. So, Ms. Uh, Ignilan, how was your demonstration? Okay, that's good. So, I will now start your oral questioning. So, why is it important to follow the proper procedure? Okay, that's great. So, why is it important to have a proper setting? Okay, that's good. So, Ms. Ignilan, just give me time to check. Okay, Ms. Igmila, based on the result of your assessment, you got 40 out of 50 score. And during the demonstration, I observed that you have a hard time maintaining the cleanliness of the work area, but you did a good job. You also answered the questions appropriately, but not confidently. Um, but in overall, you did a good job. I also, I also conclude that you are competent with this competency. So please receive the certificate of achievement. Congratulations. And I will now record that to the progress chart. You will now return to your learning resource area. So we're done with the activities for today and I am encouraging everyone um, to please continue on reading the information sheets and familiarize the task so that you will be must you can master and be competent uh, in our next training. So that's all for today. See you tomorrow. Okay, good morning trainees. This is our last day in uh, our training, so so please stand for the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. So you may now take your seat. So I will now check your attendance. Please come forward if your name is called and say that in the sheet. Brian Brian Yuan. Janice Ignila. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I have here the training matrix for today's uh, training for our service hour guide. So, okay, Ms. Ignila, I understand that you are having difficulties uh, throughout the training, but I also appreciate your hard work uh, in coping up with the training. So with that, you are also taking the post test today. So today we'll have our post test so that I will know if whether you, uh, you learn throughout our training. Uh, are you ready? Okay. So here are your posters and I will give you 40 minutes to answer this. So please read and follow the instructions carefully. You may now start.
Are you done? So please pass. Thank you. So I will check this and I will back uh, at the moment. So I'm back. I'm I'm really glad about your scores. So for Miss Igmilan, your score have improved from 30 over 50 in pre-test to 45 over 50 in post-test. And also for Mr. Duran, from 40 to 50 in pre-test to 48 over 50 in post-test. Congratulations. So now I will conduct the training evaluation. So this is for me to check if what areas are need to be developed and improved. Also our training. So I will give you 20 minutes to answer this uh, question. So you may not start. Are you done? So please pass. Thank you. Okay, so now that you are now, uh, now competent and confident, I will now recommend you to the national assessment. So are you ready for that? So well, that's great. So I will now give you this form for the national assessment and fill this up. And also, and please bring that to the test the office located at Agbilaran City together with one passport size picture and white background. Bring also your training fees for the 1,500 pesos. So, that would be all. Congratulations to all and good luck to your national assessment. Have a nice day ahead.